I'm the middle child. Uh, I have an older sister and a younger brother. I'm Ben. I'm the youngest of three. Well, I first met Ricky when she was a practicing attorney. It was probably about 20, 25 years ago. Well, I, I met Judge Wicker in the year 2000 when I was a teacher at the Stewart Hall School for Boys. I first met Ricky when I came out of law school. I was a law clerk for the firm where she was an associate. She is just a bundle of energy. Uh, you just can't uh, slow her down. I'd say incredibly loving. Uh, she, everything she does, she goes into it like very passionately. Ricky Wicker can best be described as having more energy than anybody else. My mom is definitely the most compassionate person I know. When Ricky Wicker is in your life, Ricky Wicker looks at you and she figures out what she thinks you ought to be doing. And you're gonna do that um, really whether you like it or not. Wake us up at about 5 a.m. every morning when we were growing up put on uh, some classical music in the kitchen while she made us breakfast and read to us every morning. And of course, my brother and my sister, you know, they handled it fairly well. I was always the one that would put a blanket over my head and my mom would go, Ben, are you awake? And I would always go, I'm awake. She's very interested about lots of different things. So she's tried to instill that in her kids and I think they have some, sometimes gone on begrudgingly and at this stage of their life, I'm hoping they've appreciated the hard work she put into being a really good mom. Ricky is always trying to bring culture to wherever she is. I believe that great teachers are people who look at you and make you do the things that are hard and they make you believe that you can do those things even when you don't believe that you can do them yourself, and that's who she is to me. As lawyers and judges, we don't get to see positive results of what we do very often, and I have had many conversations with Ricky about how rewarding it is to meet kids on the street that were in her drug court whose lives were turned around by having been in her drug court. She's an advocate for um, for women in our profession. She's an advocate for people of color in our profession. You know, in law practices, you can choose your law partners, but in the judiciary, you don't choose your colleagues. And you don't ever know who's gonna get elected and who's gonna be in the chambers next to you. Or So judicial education is really the way she's seen as improving um, the work that we do and making sure that people who come from very different backgrounds um, can get the education they need to be a really terrific jurist, and she's worked really hard at that. I've never seen someone with such an incredible work ethic. I, my mom. Now the Bar Foundation has always been committed to service to others, and there's no one who exemplifies that more um, than Ricky. She is one of the hardest workers I've ever been around. She has a better idea of right and wrong than anybody I've ever met. Ricky, congratulations. It's such an honor to be here for you tonight. Um, we're proud of you. Paige and I wish you um, the very best. You've been a great, great asset to the judiciary and a great friend to us. Ricky, you have done so much, and yet your star is still rising. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations on this award, and I love you very much. I'm so proud of you. No one deserves this award more than you do. And I just want to tell you, it's been a pleasure working with you all these years, and I hope we have many more. Congratulations, Mom. Um, I would like to add, not only are you the greatest jurist, but definitely the greatest mom. I'm incredibly proud of you, but honestly, I can't say that I'm very surprised you won this award. You have, you're just an amazing woman. It's been a great 19 years so far, and I'm looking forward to some more coming up. Mm -hmm.